Do you know what? I'm gonna tell you something. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is that, um, that really just, I don't know, that's just been helping the stream and the content lately. But I feel like being a human a little bit and just kind of, you know, talking about a few things. Um, there's, um, yeah, I'm gonna be a, a human for just a second there. Um, even though like today out of like all days, I'm just like, okay, but am I sure I want to be talking? Yeah, I want to be talking. Um, I was just looking at like stream numbers and not just Twitch since I stream on YouTube as well. I stream on Twitter as well. Lately, we've been sitting at like, you know, 60, 70 people, 80 people, sometimes up to a hundred people overall. And, uh, I just, I don't know what, um, I don't know what caused the change. Like I know what caused the change in like February or March, at the beginning of March when I started playing um, uh, playing Persona Three. Um, it just feels like playing Persona this year really did a lot for the channel, <laughs> and I'm grateful for the game and I'm grateful to you know to Atlas because they did gift me the game when I had no money. <laughs> But at the same time, um, it wouldn't have been as fun playing the game if there wasn't for the community. And the community has just continuously been growing. And it's a good time to say thank you for that. <coughs> because literally, um, I guess, I don't know, playing through Persona, building the community, like getting me the getting me to the fundraiser goal for the PC, like, holy fucking shit. Who would have thought that that would happen? Like, I made the goal at the start of, like, February or something like that. Like, we got to it so fast. And I'm just, I'm just so grateful because I actually get to make content. First of all, like, I work on my laptop. That's, that's no bueno. That's, that's just not working. And uh, everything's just been so nice lately. And I've just been really happy to stream. Like, my stream has been my safe place. I've just been having a lot of fun. And uh, I do suffer from abandonment issues from like Final Fantasy XIV. Because um, for those of you who don't know me from like that time, I used to stream on YouTube. And my only content was Final Fantasy XIV. And those streams were big. I don't know, like big for, you know, for someone who's just started a game, 30, 40, 50 people or whatever. I was happy with the numbers. I was happy, obviously, with, you know, super chats or whatever. Like I got myself divorced based on the fact that I had enough income to support myself. And I felt like it was it was, it was the only moment, the, the, the good time to go full time with content. So I went full time with content, but like MSQ like ended and I was just suddenly not in a situation where I can do it anymore. And I didn't have a job or anything. So I just like, that was my first time like trying to go full time with content and it kind of failed. It kind of backfired when I didn't know that, you know, after MSQ, after like this, this whole like blowout on YouTube, that it'll just not be the same. I couldn't have known this. I wanted to believe that it would stay the same and it didn't. But then, uh, then I found something else to do. Like starting with variety was the most difficult thing that I've ever done. Like you have to understand that V plays as a YouTube channel, which is now sitting at like 1500 subscribers or whatever. V plays didn't exist two years ago. V plays was not a thing. It was a new YouTube channel that was made after I finished, uh, after I finished with Final Fantasy 14 MSQ. And I made it out of desperation, desperation. Like I wanted to, to step away from 14 so that I could survive. So that I could continue to make content. And then my main channel, my mom's den channel, to Twitch, to YouTube, everything suffered because I was 
building up vplays so that I can get it monetized. And in like four years, I monetized two YouTube channels, one sitting at like 9.5K subs, the other one at like 1500 or whatever. And I've saved myself. Like, so if you, like, I just have to share this story. This is a very important story for me about how I actually managed to, to make a good decision. Maybe some would argue that it would, would have been a better decision to stay on my, um, like on Moms Den, on my other YouTube channel and just be like, okay, this is where I will do all of my content, but I would have ruined the channel. I would have ruined the algorithm and it wouldn't be the same anymore. Like I wouldn't keep the momentum for Final Fantasy 14 content when it comes up and it's coming up. And these streams, like I know that these streams are gonna come back, at least when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to Twitch, I have no idea because I wasn't on Twitch when I was streaming MSQ, I was not, I was just on YouTube and it was massive. And I was so happy with the support. And now I have no idea what waits for me, like on Twitch and YouTube together. Cause this is the first time that I can be monetized on, on YouTube and an affiliate on Twitch at the same time. And that's the reason why I can be here. Uh, wait, what? What is this? As every hope is lost, you can answer me on WhatsApp or three, four days, gotta pay me, move on. Wait, what? I'm so confused. That's not about me, is it? Uh, she's getting sentimental. It's okay, we appreciate you as well. I know all of us need to thank you for being that, that ball of chaos that we all know. Aww. I appreciate it. Um, nice game. Love this very much from all the three games. Yeah, just, uh, just a little heads up. Please, no spoilers or anything. Uh, I do, this is my first playthrough, and I played Persona 3, so this is my next one. Um, what what was I going to say? Yeah, I just wanted to thank you, because the, this is the first time, this is the first time that, um, <laughs> that I feel like there is an actual hope for me to not, um, to not have to work three jobs. You know that I work three jobs right now? <laughs> Like, I have my, I have this, I have my medical job, so I'm a medical interpreter. And I also tutor, like I tutor like local kids, like I teach them English. Like my English is not perfect, but it's good enough to, uh, to teach kids and to help them do their homework and such. So I do that on the weekends. I have, I have no days off. Like I work 15 hours a day, every day. I'm a mom and now I'm losing my roommate as well. And, you know, like I'm facing basically like, why am I here? Because like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my roommate. I'm like next, starting next month. I'm, you know, like I'm, I'm paying a full amount of rent. And I ha already have TwitchCon book that I want to go to. And at this point, even if I didn't want to go, it would cost me more to cancel everything and to just not go than to go and at least make some things happen. And you know, the PC has already been in motion and I need the PC to even start working. So there's like a lot of stuff that are that is very scary right now. But like, you know, the community has been growing and it's not just about me, it's about you guys uh, kind of, uh, you know, connecting with each other and me not being, like, I never want to be the center of attention. Obviously I'm here, obviously I'm streaming, but like, I want my community to know each other. Like when I, you know, come to the stream, um, I like it when, you know, people greet each other and not just me, like, I don't know, like, for a streamer, I, I don't like getting nearly as much attention, you know, it's like I'm there, but like, what really means to me is like, a lot to me is like, when I start the stream and like, when people are like, hey, hey, what's up, how are you doing, so, like, that's, that for me is real, right, when people come and they're just like, hey, B, you know, that's great, that's great, but like, What's really real is that people have conversations that I'm not a part of, and I love that. So thank you for you know for being friends and getting along. And to just is it an ass break? Ah, oh, god damn it! Never mind. I'll just walk around for a bit. Attention intruders! Leave the facility immediately. On glass, what a terrible time. No, I'll I'll walk around for a bit. I'll read this. This is there's a lot of text. Wait. Uh, 
Are you here? Because you are not you're near and dying yet. No, of course I'm not done. <laughs> Definitely not. I really appreciate that. <laughs> this guy like tries like every single stream. He's like, I'm gonna make her cry. Now is the time, you know? Like, damn. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm messing. But I just want to say thank you for hanging out. My point that I was trying to make is thank you for hanging out even when something isn't your thing because it's so hard to build a variety channel and i'm glad that like how many of you here have never played persona how many of you are not persona fans or next week when we start shin megami tensei how many of you have no idea what shin megami tensei is and how many of you i might see in the chat you know it's like i appreciate you know the company and you recognizing that if I am to grow as a content creator, that you, um, that it, it benefits me if you're here and therefore you're here because of the community, because I don't know, maybe I'll make you laugh sometimes, you know, maybe you want to show some support when I do get sponsored for something. It's like, okay, so Atlas has been sponsoring her lately. She's gotten a lot of opportunities. And it's nice to, you know, to show that we're really interested and grateful as a community that, you know, she got something to show us. And I don't know, like, I'm just, this is very happy. And I like taking this time when, I don't know, when maybe I feel a little vulnerable because I'm sick, because I'm facing like all these things next month and I don't know how I'm going to make everything happen, but you're here, right? Like I see every one of you, like, Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube, like, I'm, I just appreciate that you're here and that uh, you're helping me not think about it too much, even though obviously I'm thinking about it. Obviously I need to make sure that I'm surviving, you know? Um, obviously it's, it, it matters to me, but <laughs> thank you for your lurkers. Hi, Neo's lurkers. Sorry if you were looking for speed runs. Neon has just decided to uh, send you over here. So now I get to, to meet V. Hi. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> it's like Neo's just like, oh, he's like, oh, I have lurkers. I'm just going to send them over. He like spies his uh, like, chat list or whatever. It's like, oh, there's people. Let's send them over. Thank you. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, thank you for being here and thank you for, uh, like for this warm ride. Um, what I really want to say thanks for is for not abandoning me, like as a variety community, thank you for sticking out through even maybe something that you don't, uh, don't enjoy. Like I stream Hearthstone on Fridays. There's there's people here who don't know a single card from Hearthstone, but like when I'm happy, everyone's like, oh, you know, happy, great cards. And you know, it's just a good time. And thank you for coming back. Thank you for showing me that variety is what I'm supposed to be doing. Like I was so caught up doing just Final Fantasy 14. Like I love Final Fantasy 14. I'm damn good at that game. But at the same time, um, I finished, you know, the main story and suddenly I felt like people were there for what was happening on screen that didn't include this space here, you know, that included that space over there. And like the moment that stopped being interesting, it's like I felt so boring and like invisible. It's like my streams went from like, I don't know, 30, 40 viewers or whatever, even a hundred and something during those final hours of like Shadowbringers and Walker and whatnot. They went to like, I don't know, five or six people or whatever. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? You know, like I thought I was doing a good job and then it turned out that I wasn't, or maybe I was, it just wasn't about me. It was more about the story. And I just don't want it to be about the story as well. That's why I sit here for like a long time. I bullshit, I mess around with you because like I want to make something more. Like this is just not, 
yeah, it's just maybe it's just 14, but I was so like I was so scarred by that. Like you have no idea how successful I felt on YouTube when I was streaming there. Like I thought I was, you know, like I was finishing Endwalker, I was finishing, you know, Shadowbringers. I felt like I was on the top of the damn world and I was like, there's no way I'm going back to I don't know, any um I don't know, numbers that Mm, I don't know that I had before and then I went back to even like worse than that it's like where are these people but they move on you know they watch obviously they watch other playthroughs and such and I was like I felt I'm sorry for like taking like a lot of time just talking but here's the thing like I thought that I spent 300 hours or whatever just streaming Final Fantasy 14 and I felt like a bad content creator because I felt like I didn't do anything to captivate my community to the point that they're not just looking at what's happening on the screen, that they're actually enjoying this place here. It's just, it was so hurtful. Like nobody's, nobody's uh, expected to stay in a, in a person's stream if they don't like it. Of course not. And I didn't expect people to just hang out there if they didn't enjoy it. The core community, a lot of you, we're in the chat right now from Final Fantasy XIV who have stayed. I'm so thankful for you because you have kept me going. Like these few people, uh, like I can, I can name some people and I'm not, like I'm not, um, I, I'm not shy about it. Uh, Amon, Victor from YouTube, some of these like people who you see in the chat like at all times, like they have been there since the, pretty much the beginning of my Final Fantasy XIV and basically have not just stayed with me while I was playing other games, but they also were trying to show me that there's more to it than Final Fantasy XIV. Got me into Nier, got me into other Final Fantasy games. Like, I was just, you know, I'm sorry if I missed someone. Like, there's there's probably, you know, a, f a few of you who have been around for, you know, for this amount of time. But I'm just happy to, I'm just happy to have you, you know? Grateful, very grateful. And I feel like I wanted to distract, that's, that's an ugly word. I felt like I wanted my variety content to not just be like, okay, we're gonna do this playthrough and you're gonna be here like for the story, I'm gonna read you the story and just borrow my voice to these characters or whatever so that you can feel like someone's reading you the quest. I wanted to give it a soul. And what I'm hoping, at least with my playthroughs, with like the way we do things here is that I'm giving it a little bit of a soul. Like I know it's quirky. I know it's like a little messy sometimes and whatnot, but like I want people to get something different than like what they would get if they were just like watching a playthrough on, on YouTube or something like that. You know, I want people to laugh and to not feel the same way they felt when they were playing the game because that actually killed my Final Fantasy 14 content because I was trying so hard to resonate with this Final Fantasy XIV community because the chatters in Final Fantasy community are a funny bunch in a way that when you're going through the MSQ they're gonna be like, um, oh, you're gonna love this part or oh, you're gonna cry so hard at this part oh, you're gonna, you know, this part is like the calm before the storm or whatever sometimes it's nice to know this but it creates the content creator it creates an expectation to never uh react differently it is indirect spoiling and i was a huge victim to it i was inexperienced i didn't know and my growth on youtube happened too fast there were suddenly so many people who were talking about how they were fe feeling about it and i have autism you know like i felt like there was something wrong with me if i if i didn't feel like the way they felt about the game it's like some people would be like oh you didn't get sad for this or you didn't get happy about this or whatever it's like sometimes i would feel nothing and i'm like okay so is this is this me like is this me not being able to understand what the emotion is or whatever you know it's like damn like i wanted to experience the game the same way everyone did then because it was a yeah like i thought it was me like i had this huge guilt that I was reacting wrong. And then I started with variety and I said, fuck it, you know, like I'm just gonna do my own thing. Like I'm just gonna, you know, do these games the way I do them. This game, the Persona 4, 
it can be completed in 50 hours. You can go through the quest for in 50 hours. I've probably played this game close to 80 hours now. And I'm still not finishing it. Why? Because I'm sitting here goddamn bullshitting you every day. <laughs> and just like trying to like make a good time. Like that doesn't just revolve around like what people say or whatever. Like that's what I'm trying to do. And that's what I'm trying to do with every single game that I play. And I'm so happy about Dawn Trail. I'm looking forward to Dawn Trail, but I'm also so scared of Dawn Trail, you know? Like I'm so, I'm scared that I'm gonna be a like I, I'm not gonna be the same victim to that that I was two years ago. Because I've grown and I know what I'm doing. I hope so. But exactly, like I I'm just like I don't care anymore when I'm gonna finish the game. And I'm gonna tell you something else. Um uh, my relationship with Square Enix uh, actually caused me to forget how to, like, the relationship that I had with Square Enix for, uh, caused me for a short while uh, to forget how to create uh, the content that actually revolves around the community. There was a time uh, last year, year before that, or whatever, when a bunch of Square Enix games came out. Um, the games that not, are not that popular, but are, you know, very, uh, very long, very expansive, something like Harvest Stella, something like Tactics Ogre Reborn. Tactics Ogre Reborn is beloved, but it's not that popular, okay? Like, it's not that mainstream. Octopath Traveler 2, what else was there? There was, like, even Outriders, Diofield Chronicles, some of these games that... that are very long but for some reason it was just difficult to get people initially interested in them and i was so yeah dio field yeah exactly valkyrie elysium i played that too like i got all these games from square enix and i was very happy like i fell into this trap of like being very happy very excited about like being a content creator who's recognized to get these games but then i also felt the responsibility to finish them to give them justice, to do reviews and everything. And at some point, there was just so much content that I lost track of what content I want to do. And my community saved me, okay? My community, my Discord community, they saved me because they fed me content that they knew I was going to resonate with. My mother was like, that's it. Yeah, I played it once and I said, like, I didn't go back to these games, okay? My community brought me to... Persona brought me to Nier, brought me to Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy... Okay, Final Fantasy sixteen. I would have played anyways. I did get it, but at the same time, you know, Final Fantasy IV, like, I had the best time... Had had a uh, had the best time streaming Final Fantasy IV because everybody was so excited about it. It was something I liked. Like, I truly enjoyed... 3D remake of Final Fantasy IV. It's one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. And I'm just... I'm just thankful to the community for letting me... Not just letting me play what I want, but showing me that I don't have to be sponsored for these, uh... Like, for these, you know, big games or whatever. Big games, small games or whatever to feel relevant. Because at the end of the day, I didn't get as much out of it as I got out of just making my own content and just, you know, kind of, you know, making my own community. I think Dawn Trail is going to be fun, like with a different mindset, with not worrying about what people are going to say or whatever, I think it's going to be great. Um, thank you for <laughs> listening to me. I'm sorry that uh, that I took like a lot of time just trying to, you know, trying to talk about some of these things, but they mean like some of these, some of these things really mean a lot to me. And I just really wanted to, to, to share them and just to, to say thank you for everything. I'm just I'm just very grateful to be here. It's one in the morning. I'm sick. I have a ton of things to do, but I'm still here. And I'm just really happy to be here. You know, I'm just genuinely excited about, you know, just being here. Thank you. <laughs> Leave was going to undergo a body alteration operation. Send me note was going to be altered here. No worries, Abby Gobi. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the kind words and for hanging out today. Have a good night. Crap, you need to hurry. Yeah, exactly, the game's like, come on. Stop bullshitting in. Like, I know I could have, I could have talked about all these things while playing, but it wouldn't have been the same. Like, I just wanted to kind of stop for a second and just tell you a few things.
that I, I feel are important. Like, this was really important for me to say. Okay, Senpai, hang in there. Thank you. 